guys, this is Archangeli. I hope the video that I posted last week was useful to you guys. The Dolphy Dream Holding Hands that Volks USA launched did sell out quite quickly in the normal skin. However, the last time I checked, the other skin tones as well as the mini Dolphy Dream variations were still available. So if you're interested in them, you might want to hop on that before they sell out completely. Uh, I don't know if Volks will ever be able to restock them because they are a limited item. But continuing on with the project that I started in December, I'm going to chat with you guys today about Aerie and how she joined my doll family. Uh, Aerie is actually, I think, the fifth or the sixth doll that joined the that I added to the collection. And there's going to be a few jumps here and there. I'm not going to necess necessarily talk about my dolls in the chronological order that I adopted them because that's kind of a bit boring if I say, oh, this one came in January, this one came in February, this one came in March. And so the reason I'm chatting about Aerie is because she, her story actually connects a little bit with Saber Lilies. Um, before I get to her story, let me talk about Aerie as a doll. So the Aerie Ardette sculpt is a limited character sculpt that Volks released in April, April 2011 at Double 25. And Aerie is one of the Tony Taka Shining Hearts characters. So Volks actually released two girls at that time, Ari and Neris at the same time, and they retailed for 52,000 yen and 54,000 yen. Ari was the cheaper one. And both of those by uh, Dolphy Dream standards at the time were cheap. Uh, I mean, if you compare them to Saber Lily's retail price, I guess that really just blew everything out of the water and everything in comparison is cheap. I mean, it was still a lot of money, but when they were released, Ari and Neris were very unpopular because Volks interpreted their original concept art a little bit too faithfully. So they released these dolls um, with these rather creepy, vapid, vacant looking eyes that a lot of people didn't like. And when the original uh, product photos were released for these dolls, people saw them and went, mm. and they didn't, a lot of people were not interested in these two dolls. So. After their lottery, there were so many left over that Volks actually just added them to the online store and you could just log in, add them to your cart and check out, which was really unusual because up until that point, for the few months that I'd been collecting Dolphy Dreams, it was my understanding you either got the standard models, which were Aoi and Yukino up until that point, or you could enter a lottery. I didn't, I had never encountered a doll that was added to the cart afterwards. So. These two were considered unpopular at the time because usually Volks likes their dolls to just sell it right away. It creates this kind of artificial demand and this exclusivity um, that they like, you know, and it's, it's a way of doing business. And so the fact that these two were left behind and added to the store with so many still left, they were really unpopular. But the reason that I, that Eris and Neri are important in the timeline of Dolphy Dream Collectors is that they were the first two dolls that were released with the soft vinyl head cap. Up until that point, all Dolphy Dreams had a really hard vinyl head um, that material that they were used, so material that they were made out of. So if you needed to take the head cap off, you needed to get a hair dryer out, you needed to use a butter knife, you needed to pry that head cap off, and it was quite a struggle. So the soft head cap was a direct response to comments that Volks uh, received and responded to and every Dolphy, Dream, every Dolphy Dream since then has been released with the soft vinyl head cap. So that was a turning point in spring 2011. Every doll since then has been the soft vinyl head. And the bodies have kind of evolved a little bit too. This is like having taken Ari out today to handle her I just you know it's she is on a DD2 body so it does pose and handle a little bit more differently, but the vinyl is a little uh, more, it's got a little more oomph to it. So the vinyl they use now is a little bit softer. Volks has been doing this gradually, things change subtly, and they don't necessarily make big announcements about it, but the soft vinyl was a big announcement. It was a really huge change. So back to my story of Aerie. Remember the last video where I talked about how we adopted Saber Lily? We missed her lottery, we missed her after event, we missed the uh, other authorized resellers lotteries, like we missed every possible proper channel to get her, which is why we went to the aftermarket. And in that process, we also missed out on getting her alternate weapon, the Avalon Sword. 
And it really irked me that, you know, we were still missing that really cool sword. But the aftermarket prices were between three and five hundred dollars, and that was just way too much money for a sword, for a prop. So I was kind of content to just let it be. But every now and then I would complain about it to my online friends. And someone who heard me, or heard me complain, I guess, uh, was Wolf Heinrich. And he's, he messaged me privately and said, hey, actually, I have two of these. I won the International and the USA Lottery. You seem like a decent chick. If you want, I'll sell you one of mine. And I was really, really, really touched that he offered me this. And rather than have him ship it and spend money and risk the sword getting broken, I said, you know what? Wait a couple of months. I might end up in Chicago at some point for business, for work. So if we can meet up, that would be fantastic. And luck would have it in May 2011, I happened to have a short stopover in Chicago. So Wolf Heinrich and I, we met up for ice cream and he asked me, you know, I would like to bring a doll out. Who do you want me to bring? And I said, bring your newest girl. And that happened to be Ari at the time. And I still remember when I saw her, I was just like, oh my goodness, she is so cute. Nothing compared to the photos that Volks had posted and that I had seen online of this doll up until that point. She's so much cuter in person. And to this day, I still think that Ari is one of Volks's most underrated head sculpt. She is so adorable. And when I saw Wolf Heinrich's area, I immediately regretted not entering the lottery. And that's when he told me, you know, you can just go online and add her and, and check out with her because she's still available. And I was like, what do you mean? And he explained that, you know, there had been leftovers. Either people had uh, defaulted on their lottery wins and not paid, or there were just so many left over that folks added them to their cart. And this has happened a few times with some of the, uh, most recently the Idolmaster twins, Len and Rin, I think they're still available on the Volks website. And so when I got home, that's what I did. I logged on and I bought Aerie directly from Volks. And she's one of the few that I actually can say, you know, I didn't have to go through the aftermarket. I didn't need to go through a proxy, a, a friend or whatever. I actually bought her directly from Volks. And it was because I met up with Wolf and because I needed Saber Lily's sword. <laughs> so that's how it all connects. I'm gonna bring Ari a little closer now so you can have a, a look at her. You can see she has this sweet upturned kittenish smile. And that's why she wears cat ears because she's my little kitty, girl, kitty cat girl. And this is her original default wig. I love the shine that Volks's default wigs do have this they use this lovely monofilament which looks really really pretty unfortunately these wigs are not heat stylable but it's okay and these are the these are Volks eyes that she's wearing actually but they're a significant improvement to the creepy ones that Volks sent her to me with <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching I hope this was I don't know, entertaining? I hope you like these little video diaries I'm doing. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I'm going to try to make a couple of these videos every month. And also, if you are a subscriber, make sure you hit that bell button next to subscribe so that you get a notification every time I post a new video. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.